Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I have a bath bomb for you here today from a brand new shop for me, a shop I have never tried, and this is from Mama Bath Handmade Soaps. This is such a cool bath bomb. Okay, so there are a few different um, eyeball type bath bombs um, out there right now, and I had to choose one. I can't do all of them, but I thought this one was really cool. It's shaped like a hockey puck. It's in that kind of style. And um, I think it's going to do something really cool. So, um, okay, let me tell you about this scent. I opened it. I knew I couldn't remember what it was when I ordered it. And I opened it, and it smells really sweet. Um, at first sniff, I thought it smelled kind of like a lemon pie or some kind of, um, I don't want to say citrus, but really kind of like a sweet dessert kind of frosting, something like that. I couldn't put my finger on it. And I went and I looked up the description, and... It's called Dreamsicle, and then it hit me. This smells just like a push pop, like exactly like a push pop. It's so cool. I haven't had anything scented remotely like this. So um, when I read that, I was finally like, yes, that's exactly what it is. So it's not like super orangey, but it's really sweet. And um, yeah, so that's what it is. It's uh, it's push pop. Um, I think this is going to be really cool, and I want to show you this real, real quick too, because I just I couldn't resist. Look at this. I switched this up back here, so I've got my old friend Susie back here, and I've got just a little skull full of eyeballs. Thought that I just you know I can't resist. I can't resist being matchy and corny all at the same time. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get this in the water. Um, I'm just having so much fun with these, you guys. Um, I think this is going to put on a really cool show, so I hope that, um, I hope that it goes in the water well for me. Smells really, really good. Yeah, this is one I just I really didn't want to put in the water because um, I wanted to keep sniffing it. It's such a unique scent. I love the idea of that for a scent because it's really nostalgic. You know, it takes you back um, to your childhood. I don't eat push pops anymore, but um, oh, it just smells really good. Okay, here comes the bath art, the effects of the I.I. bath bomb. I am a sucker for some good in bits, and I think that you guys know this. She was sold out of these. Um, I think she may have been sold out when I did my, um, oh, I didn't do an unboxing. I took a photo, because I only got three um, three from her. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram page. I got um, this one, and I got a Jack and Sally bomb that is shaped um, in the same shape as this, and they're really cute. Um, but I think she was sold out by the time that I got these. So, um, anyway, they're back in stock, and she did them in green. So, if you run right now, you can pick one up, and um, you'll get a green eyeball. I love it. That is one bloodshot eyeball. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I love the contrast, blue and red. I love blue and red together. That is perfect. I love it. I love it. And that red is so bright.
even kind of fizzing away in a cool shape too, almost like it's going into like a little flower petal shape. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't had anything at all like this. This is really kind of different from anything I've had. I love this idea. It's a great idea. Oh, it smells really good. I know I've already said that, but um, yeah, um, this is just such an unusual scent and it is really, really fragrant. I'm going to back up. Hang on one sec. You got to get the full effect, right? Because there are a couple of other little squiggly patterns in there that are pretty cool too. I love how it's just hanging out and it's like got the perfect pattern. Perfect. So this watercolor, hmm, that right there is about the color of it. Um, it's kind of a watermelon, pinky red. It's really pretty. What a cool bath bomb, you guys. What a cool bath bomb. You better go grab one right now, I'm telling you. You better go grab one. I think her stuff, um, it looks like she kind of sells out really quickly on the regular. I bet she does because her stuff's pretty cool. There goes the very last of the black, and that is a pretty cool pattern on top, too, where the foam's just kind of, um, it's not foam, but where the white um, is just kind of separating. It's really cool on top. So let's go ahead and look at the watercolor. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's a little more pink than I thought it would be, but it is... Um, I mean, it was, it's kind of a watermelon, but um, it's a little more pink than that. I mean, this is exactly the color it is, the color that you guys are seeing. And there's a little bit of um, shimmer or whatever um, paint she used. I don't know if you can tell on top of the water, but um, I don't know if that there's going to be any shimmer in the water. But um, there's just a little bit of something floating on the top. It's not 100% clear. I need some visine. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's check out the bubbles. Check out that pattern though. I love it. That's so cool. I just, I was telling y'all um, in the last video, I love it when there's a little pattern like that on top of the water. So cool. Okay, now let's sip jets. mystery to me. I don't know if we're going to get bubbles or not. I cannot tell. I can't tell at all. We'll see. We will see. So there are some, and I think they're building a little, but this might be one of those that I don't know, I can't tell if we're going to get higher or if that's about what we're going to get. It's definitely not a huge bubbler, but I mean, there's a good inch down there. 
bubbles for sure. All right, well, it looks like that I will actually be able to leave my jets on if I want to have them on the whole time, but I don't know that you're going to be able to make a bubble bath with this one, but um, I absolutely love the scent. Okay, so I'm going to hop in the shower, and I will see you guys in a minute and let you know how this dreamsicle bath was. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so here's the verdict on the II bath bomb from Mama Baths Handmade Soaps. I really, really liked it. The color was nice. It had a nice moisture level, but the scent and the show just were awesome for me. I already want another one, so I might just go ahead and um, when I hop off here, I might go ahead and order the new one she's got out and another one or maybe even two of these because I can see this one going in my favorites drawer. But anyway, um, I really didn't notice any discernible um, shimmer in the water. Um, I always forget to mention that. But anyway, I will have all of her links listed down below, so definitely go ahead and check her out. She's got some really cool stuff. Thanks for joining me, and um, keep watching for my next Halloween demos. I've got a lot more coming up. Thanks. Bye-bye.